By bringing gaming to life. By bringing life to gaming. Story. Character. Real emotion. Then, we added you. Me. 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 Definitely me. Me. And 40 million of our closest friends. And with every person we added, the world we created became richer. Filled with more joy, adrenaline, and excitement. And the more of you we put in games, the more of you we put in entertainment, the better they became. We added your movements. My moves. And my voice. So now, we're about to change entertainment forever. Again. Because we're going to take all that we learned in more than 30 years of innovation and use it to change everything. For the first time, you and your TV are going to have a relationship. It's going to recognize my name, my voice, my friends, my family, my movies, me. It's going to remember all the things I like, love, and really love. We're going to use groundbreaking technology and the power of the cloud to set my imagination free. Free to create worlds and feelings. I can only begin to imagine. We're all laugh more, cry more, scream more, and cheer more. <laughs> we'll stop just watching and start feeling. Alive. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Don Mantra. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the entire team, thank you for joining us on the Microsoft campus at the home of Xbox. I've spent my entire career in interactive entertainment, and I've never been more excited than I am today. Because today, we put you at the center of a new generation in the living room, where your games look and feel like nothing else, where your TV becomes more intelligent, where all of your entertainment comes alive in one place. More than a decade ago, Xbox put the most advanced hardware and software in the hands of creators so they could realize new visions for games. We believed in a connected future, so we made an early bet on Xbox Live, a living service that gets better each and every day. Gamers were hungry to adopt emerging technologies. And with Xbox 360, we launched the HD era of games. You wanted more competition and bigger communities so we doubled down on Xbox Live. With Kinect, we made you the controller. We brought you new interactive content, two-way TV, fitness, sports, and now, nearly eight years after our launch, Xbox 360 remains a vibrant platform continuing to lead the industry in sales. In a few short weeks at E3, we'll be sharing great news about what's next on Xbox 360. We're thankful to you and proud of our leadership position in this thriving $65 billion a year industry. Today, we look forward. Incredible shifts are happening across games and entertainment with exciting new ways to play and have fun. Audiences are spending their time enjoying different types of content, core and casual games, live and recorded television, sports and movies. These stories are lighting up on every device, from the big screen, to the tablet, to the mobile phone. The living room has changed radically over the last eight years with the addition of the cloud-powered internet, voice and gesture, and more devices. To continue to lead, we must provide compelling answers to new questions. Can we take what you love and make it better? Can we improve a living room that has become too complex too fragmented and too slow by harmonizing your experiences? Can we offer new performance in power to inspire the world's greatest creators? Team Xbox is on a new mission. Design and build an all-in-one system to light up a new generation of games, TV, and entertainment. It must be built for the future with hardware, software, and services that put you at the center. And at its very core, it must be simple, instant, and complete. We believe we can evolve what you love to make it decidedly better and deliver breakthrough innovations. So, it's time for technology to step behind the curtain 
and for you and your entertainment to take center stage. Today, we're thrilled to unveil the ultimate all-in-one home entertainment system. The one with the power to create experiences that look and feel like nothing else. The one that makes your TV more intelligent. The one system for a new generation. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Xbox One. This is it, Xbox One. This system is built to amaze on day one and continuously improve over the generation ahead. In designing Xbox One, we've obsessed about every finite detail in every engineering milestone, at every corner, in every feature, the principles we followed were to be simple, instant, and complete. Please welcome Yusuf Mehdi to show some of the new experiences you'll find only on Xbox One. Thanks, Don. Good morning. How you guys doing? Here at Xbox, it's no secret that we love gaming. We love the immersive worlds, the epic battles, and the thrill of competing with our friends. With Xbox One, you're going to experience a new generation of gaming like you've never seen before. And you're going to see that in a little bit and a lot more at E3. For now, though, I want to show you how we're going to take that passion for gaming and apply it to your entire TV experience. Join me over here in front of the new Xbox and Connect. Now, let me set up the aspiration. What if a single device could provide all your entertainment? And what if that device could turn on your TV and talk to all of the devices in your living room? And what if it was always ready and connected? Well, now it's all going to begin with two simple words. Xbox on. And it's that simple. Xbox One instantly recognizes me and gets me to my own personal home screen. No more manual login, no more waiting on system or game updates. Now the home screen, as you can see, has a familiar interface. But let me point out for you a couple of unique differences. First of all, it'll remember what I was last doing. So for example, here in the center of the screen, you can see I was playing one of my favorite racing games. This one here is just one of the new amazing Xbox One exclusives you're about to hear a lot more about. You can also see I was listening to some music by Dead Mouse and watching a movie. Now, like many of you, I also discovered new entertainment based on what my friends like. And for that, we created a new area called Trending. Here I get a snapshot of what uh, is popular in the entertainment world, both with my friends and with the entire Xbox Live community. Of course, I can still browse the great content I've come to love on Xbox, such as games, TV and movies, and music. Xbox, go home. Now that you've seen the start screen and home experience, let's do what millions of people do every day when they turn on their TV. Guess what? They watch TV. It sounds simple and obvious, and it should be, but today it isn't because of the need to change inputs to get to live TV. All that is going to change with Xbox One. 
Let me show you. Xbox, watch TV. And with that simple command, I'm watching live TV. Now here in Seattle, I'm a Comcast subscriber, so this is the programming available in my area. But hold on, let me show you how we're gonna take live TV and make it not only integral to the Xbox, but also incredibly useful through a great new feature called instant switching. Xbox, game. Go to TV. Go to music. Watch TV. Yes, that fast. Did you see how instant that was? Come on, it was, so, it was so good. Let's see it again. Let's see it again. Go to Internet Explorer. Oh, nice. Watch TV. Watch movie. Switching between live TV and all my games entertainment is now as fast as switching channels on your TV remote. Now you've already seen how simple it is to use uh, your hands to navigate through the Xbox One, but we're going to create a new set of universal gestures to control your entire TV experience. Gestures such as grab and pan and swipe up. Let me show you one of my favorites. Here's an example of how I can get easily back to my home screen from anywhere in the system. I simply spread my hands, grab the screen, and I'm back home. And if I want to get back to my movie, I grab and I'm back to the movie. And again, this is not only now simple, but it makes it instant to get what you want. Now, have you ever wanted to do more than one thing at a time when you're watching TV? Of course you have. On Xbox One, the ability to do multiple things at once on your TV is now a reality. Introducing Snap Mode for the Xbox. Xbox, Snap Internet Explorer. With Snap Mode, I can run multiple programs alongside one another and easily interact between them without having to shut one down and start up another. Xbox, Favorites. Star Trek. Okay, so right now I'm watching Star Trek, and I've heard great things about the sequel, Star Trek Into Darkness. So now I can use Internet Explorer and my cell phone as a remote control, for example, to watch a trailer, and I can even navigate to find movie times and buy tickets. And again, at any given time now, if I want to go home, I just grab, and I'm home. All right. Now I'd like to introduce for you another amazing thing you can do on your Xbox, Skype. Skype on Xbox One connects you to family and friends in ways you aren't going to find on other TVs. Not only will you get Skype experiences in widescreen HD with the best living room camera available, but only on Xbox will you be able to do group video calls on your TV. Let's take a look at Skype in snap mode. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab my movie and zoom back to it. And to help you show it off, I've asked my friend DJ, one of the members on our sports team, to call in and help me demonstrate. And right on cue, DJ calls in. Xbox, answer call. Hey DJ, thank you for calling in to help me show off Skype in snap mode. Looks like you're working pretty hard out there. Hey Yusuf, thanks for having me. I'm happy to do it. You know, it looks like you're doing okay yourself. <laughs> I'm looking forward to you showing off the great work we're doing with our partners at ESPN. Well, as a matter of fact, that's what's coming up next. So why don't you sit back and enjoy it? That's great. Just make sure when you get to fantasy, you show the real version. You know, the one where I'm in first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skype in call. Let me go ahead, though, and show you that Xbox uh, sports offering that DJ was talking about. Xbox, watch ESPN. All right, let me set up the scene here. Imagine I'm at home watching an NBA game during the regular season, but if you're like me, I like to keep up with my fantasy team. Now what I can do though is instead of having to pull out necessarily a separate device, when my player scores here like LeBron, I automatically get an alert that just pops up on the TV and I can say, Xbox, show fantasy. And now I get my fantasy players right alongside. Really one of my favorites here, and that stats update live. But in addition, I can go ahead and check out league standings. And you can see, here's why I passed D DJ with that score from LeBron. Always good when you're doing the demo. And in addition, I can go ahead here and I have a nice thing called featured highlights. So I can see clips of my favorite players when they've done things, even if I'm not there. So let me throw this one to the full screen. 
Here's my center, Tyson Chandler. And here's how he helps me dominate the fantasy league with plays like that. Always very nice. All right, now what you're seeing is just one example of what we can do with live TV. But can you imagine what we could do with the Super Bowl or the Golden Globes or even with political debates with this ability to have interactive TV? All right, finally, let's tackle what I think is the biggest challenge with watching TV. Anybody? For me, it's finding what to watch and keeping up with it. Introducing the Xbox One guide. Xbox, show the guide. Now you can find, discover, and watch TV in three powerful new ways. Voice control, search, and navigation, favorites, and trending. With the Xbox One guide, I see all my local TV listings right through my Xbox. And I can use my voice to check out what's on. Xbox, Today Show. Watch Sci-Fi Channel. Watch MTV. What's on HBO? Pretty cool, huh? Let's see that again. Mary and Martha. Watch CBS. Show the guide. See how easy that is? No more memorizing channels or hunting for remote control. The next thing I want to show you is how I stay on top of all of the series that I love to follow. Xbox favorites. The favorites area is an easy way to keep up with all the TV shows that I like to watch. All I have to do is pin the content in one convenient place. It's a lot like having my own personal channel. And finally, there's one of the areas I like the most, Xbox Trending. Trending gives me a glance at what everyone in the Xbox Live community is watching. I like how current it is. It's up to the minute. From here, I can instantly jump into the most popular shows. But Trending isn't just for live TV. There's also a section for video on demand. So I can see what people are liking no matter what time zone it's in. Xbox, go home. So there you have it. The all-in-one system where it all comes together. Games, movies, music, web, and now Skype and live TV. The one place where you are now at the center of your entertainment. The one place where it's simple and instant to connect with your friends. This is the beginning of a new generation of games and entertainment. This is the beginning of truly intelligent TV. Now I'd like to welcome Mark Witten to the stage to show you the magic and science that makes all of this possible behind the Xbox One. Thank you. Thanks, Yusuf. At Xbox, we're focused on how you play and how you're entertained. We're driven to build a future-proof system that brings together the cloud, smart devices, new content, and new ways to interact with all of your entertainment. Yusuf just showed you intelligent TV and the high performance of Xbox One. There's an amazing amount of technology that enables all that you've just seen. I'm thrilled to be the one to show you under the hood and give you a taste of what powers the new Xbox. There are three ambitious investments that we made to drive a new generation of entertainment. First, there's the console and the revolutionary Xbox One architecture. Second, advances with the most important input devices, Kinect, the controller, and Smart Glass. And third, Xbox Live, reinvented by the power of the cloud. So starting with our system, it's connected and ready. It's an elegant design that meets the needs of the new generation. The heart of that system is raw power. From 500 million transistors and 512 megs of RAM in the Xbox 360 to over 5 billion transistors and 8 gigabytes of RAM in Xbox One. USB 3.0, Wi-Fi Direct, a Blu-ray drive, a native 64-bit architecture, and variable power states, all while delivering practically silent operation. This is a modern, powerful box engineered to deliver now and well into the future. But it's how we marshal that power, how we create the system that works to deliver the world's greatest games and provides the flexibility to power entirely new, connected experiences. To do this, we've brought technology from across Microsoft to create an industry first. The soul of the new system is the Xbox One architecture, three operating systems in one. The first is the best of our Xbox operating system, made even better by providing deep and instant access to the hardware so that creators have no limits in harnessing the power of Xbox One for cinematic realism. The second 
is the kernel of Windows, providing consistent access to web-powered applications and experiences. Flexible, powerful, simple. The third connects these two operating systems to create instant switching, multitasking, and effortless control. Only Microsoft and Xbox could bring this level of power, performance, and sophistication to the living room. And it changes everything. The Xbox One architecture enables the new experiences that you just saw from Yusuf. There's no waiting. You can switch to your game like it's a TV channel flip. You can snap Internet Explorer in the new Star Trek movie. But how did the TV know Yusuf and react to his voice? We're bringing a new Kinect sensor paired with every Xbox One, which puts you at the center of your entertainment. Kinect is completely redesigned to respond instantly to you, your voice, and your gestures. Voice is now more conversational. It's faster, and it supports the entire family. And our new proprietary time of flight measures the time, about 13 billionths of a second, that it takes individual photons to bounce off of you to create unprecedented accuracy and precision. Over two gigabits of data per second to understand your world. This is rocket science level stuff. Games and applications will create new experiences like you've never seen before. Three years ago, Kinect ushered in a new capability to make you the controller. Let's take a peek at the power behind the next generation Kinect sensor. We started with the ability to see your world. Now that world is crisp, it's clear and beautiful. A 1080p, wider field view capture of your world. As you saw with use of Skype call, Kinect's camera and Skype offer the best shared communication experience in the living room. In 2010, Kinect layered in an analog understanding of how you move. But in 2013, we revolutionized this capability. There are more joints. And now, for the first time, understanding the slightest rotation of a wrist or a shoulder. We understand your balance, the transfer of weight from one foot to another, the energy of emotion. When you're exercising, it can read your heartbeat. This is human control for a human experience. Now, we wouldn't bring you next generation gameplay without innovating on our controller. For the new generation, we're taking the world's best controller and we're making it better. The Xbox One controller is updated with over 40 design innovations. It features updated ergonomics and an integrated battery compartment that just fits better for gamers of all ages. New dynamic impulse triggers allow creators to program feedback directly into the triggers. And a newly designed D-pad creates precision for immersive gaming. This is your controller, designed by gamers for gamers for the next generation. And we can't talk about input innovation without Smart Glass. Last year, we unveiled Smart Glass to enable your devices to work together with your Xbox. Your tablet can instantly become a remote control and a deep companion experience. We've had over 10 million downloads of Smart Glass for the Xbox 360. But with this new generation, your smart device will behave like it's born to work with Xbox One because it's natively part of the platform. Connect, controller, smart glass. Innovative, familiar devices to control your experience, your way. But the real magic is what happens when all of these devices work together to create all new experiences. The new Connect sensor is the binding power between these devices. When you press power on or volume up, when you change the channel on your smart glass device, Kinect seamlessly makes it work. When you pick up your controller, Kinect recognizes you and the controller, and it gets you into your latest game save instantly. Speak, and your troops follow your commands. Raise your controller, and a virtual shield follows. Your devices work in harmony to create a lag-free, instant, and complete experience. Now, to truly evolve the next generation of games and entertainment, you need access to the most powerful entertainment service. The new Xbox Live is built on Xbox One to amplify an all-new generation. Based on the same membership you have today, but now more powerful, more personal, and more intelligent. When we launched Xbox Live in 2002, it was powered by 500 servers. With the advent of the 360, that number had grown to over 3,000. Today, 15,000 servers power the modern Xbox Live experience. But this year, we will have more than 300,000 servers for Xbox One. 
more than the entire world's computing power in 1999. Let's talk about the experiences enabled with all that power. Your content is available and it's stored in the cloud so you can access your movies, your music, your games, your saves, anytime, anywhere. As you've seen today, Live brings all new experiences, including Skype and what's trending across games and entertainment, and of course, intelligent TV. And playing games is brought to a whole new level. Just imagine. You will now have a dedicated game DVR to capture and access your magic moments and save them to the cloud. With our native editing and sharing tools, you'll have the most amazing bragging rights on Xbox Live. Achievements become dynamic and changing. They tell your personal story of how you play, not just what you've done. You will play richer matches with the future of matchmaking. And our new asynchronous capability will allow you to search for your perfect match in your favorite game while you play another game, while you watch a movie, or while you browse the web. And finally, game developers can take advantage of our worldwide multi-data center infrastructure to drive direct game computation. This means bigger matches with more players. It means living and persistent worlds. There you have it. The breakthrough Xbox One architecture. Next generation inputs anchored by Kinect and a completely redefined Xbox Live. You've seen how we've built it, but the real magic happens when you put that power in the hands of the world's greatest creators. I'm proud to introduce Andrew Wilson from Electronic Arts. Today marks the beginning of a brand new, broad, strategic partnership between EA and Microsoft. In the months ahead, we will share many of the details of this very special relationship. But for today, for today, I want to start with the world's first look at EA Sports on Xbox One. We share a common vision with Microsoft that games should be intelligent, dynamic, connected, rich with emotion, and most importantly, fun. We're developing four games for Xbox One that are all of this and much, much more. FIFA, Madden NFL, NBA Live, and UFC. All four will launch in the next 12 months. All four will be revolutionary. And all four will fundamentally change the way you play. Best of all, this new generation will be powered by EA Sports Ignite, an all-new game engine that we're unveiling for the very first time today. EA Sports Ignite is designed specifically to help us blur the line between real and virtual. For us, creating a new engine started by examining what defines sports at the highest level. Instincts and decision making, human intelligence, speed and agility, true play emotion, dynamic environments that impact how the game is played, living worlds. This is the essence of sports. Let's hear from some of the best athletes in the world. The mind is what makes us all different. You know, we, everyone can hit the gym, but the way we think is what makes us all individuals. And here we go! These guys, not only are they big and fast and strong, uh, but they're also extremely smart. I gotta pay attention to the way the D-line lines up, how the linebackers are shifted over, whether the safeties are rolling down or they're rolling back, whether the corners are cover two, cover three, cover four, cover 88. I go on for days with that stuff. And it is just, it is a really mental game, but you just gotta make sure you don't get psyched out about it. I think today, the football is more physical, more contact. I think we have to have a good preparation. Física y, y ser ágil en momentos puntuales para intentar de, de poder esquivar el contacto físico es, es importante. When I square up on somebody, I usually just look at their feet. And, um, you know, what I've learned is the, low, the lower you are, the, the further you can go. You're going full speed, you're at an angle, they can't stay with you. I remember 
we're walking out to that arena, there's like these black curtains, and there's this guy, Bert Watson, in the back. He's like the hype man. He's like, you know, Let, let's go, baby. It's your time. It's your time. The wait is finally over. And the curtains open up, and you just see everybody. Cameras flashing. It's it's just a it's just such a rush. Cuando salí ve el ambiente, sobre todo cuando juegas en de local y partido partido grande, muy lindo. Viví viví mucho partido de eso, mucho mucho mosaico como como se dice que fueron fueron espectaculares, una una sensación muy linda. Eso. What we heard there is that sports are as much about your head as your feet or your hands. We've built new technology that allows players in the game to make decisions with four times more calculations per second. They'll have a greater field of vision and the ability to make smart decisions with awareness, anticipation and context. This advanced processing power creates human-like intelligence. We heard that beating your opponent is about inches and angles. That's why we're delivering 10 times more animation, depth and detail. This level of fidelity powers how players will plant, pivot, cut with speed, how they will win with true player motion. We also heard that athletes are fueled by the roar of the crowd. Our games are now living worlds with 3D crowds, dynamic sidelines, and on Xbox Live, a daily stream of new content that impacts the game as you play. We're inspired by the revolutionary Xbox One, and we know gamers will be too. We have much, much more to reveal from across EA very soon, including exclusive content for the most popular mode in the most popular sports game in the world, Ultimate Team in FIFA 14. and only on Xbox. Look for more details on that later this year. But for now, let me show you how our EA Sports games will look and play on Xbox One. Sports. It's in the game. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Phil Spencer. We've joined forces with the industry's premier publishers to bring exclusives, to bring content first to Xbox, and to make our platform the best place to create. This is a commitment unlike any previous generation. I believe the groundbreaking technology at the heart of Xbox One will broaden the landscape and canvas for the storyteller and enhance the experience for the gamer, making games more immersive, more personal, and more connected than ever before. As the head of Microsoft Studios, I oversee the work of talented creative teams around the globe. These teams are hard at work right now using all the power of Xbox One to build original content and break new ground in game creation and gameplay, to amaze you and your friends and your family, 
and to showcase the unique capabilities of our platform. That means all of you Xbox fans will get more new innovative games than ever before, along with all your favorite franchises reimagined for a new generation. Let's take a look at one of those blockbuster exclusive franchises now, a franchise that has embodied innovation, quality, and visual excellence. This is Forza Motorsport 5 running on Xbox One. Turn 10 Studios have taken the very best of Xbox One to redefine what we can expect from a next generation racing game. Forza Motorsport 5 will be available at launch, and we can't wait to show you more at E3. For many of us, the thrill of gaming is defined by those first ever game experiences. The first time you earned an achievement, the first time you took your Xbox to a friend's house to play multiplayer in Halo, the first time you painted your car in Forza and traded it online. I've seen how developers are using the magic of the platform to deliver new first ever experiences. Cloud powered games that change based on the actions of the community. Multiplayer, multi-device gameplay tailored to the unique capabilities of your device. Visuals so real you'll see the imperfections and effects of time, weather, and wear and tear on the world around you. Let me share a glimpse of the future of gaming from a studio that invented the Hallmark gameplay technique, Bullet Time, and garnered numerous Game of the Year awards with Max Payne and Alan Wake. Remedy are world-class storytellers. They have created a revolutionary entertainment experience that weaves a cinematic action of intense gameplay with the tension and drama of scripted television creating a world where each has a direct impact on the other. The actions you take and the choices you make shape your experience as the story unfolds. This is Quantum Break. Do you think it's safe where we're going? Yeah, Peyton, I do. OK, sweetheart, let's pack it in. Hey. What is it that makes you so different? Are you sure you want to know? Pretty sure. To jumpstart 
this new generation of development, Microsoft Studios is investing more than ever in studios around the world to create new and original IP for Xbox One. In fact, we have more titles in development now than at any other time in Xbox history. I'm proud to announce that Microsoft Studios plans to release more than 15 exclusive games in the first year of Xbox One, eight of which are brand new franchises. We believe that the television screen remains the most relevant, most important screen in the home, and Xbox One will make your games and TV come to life in ways that haven't been possible until now. To tell us more about our mission to transform television, please welcome the head of Xbox Entertainment Studios, Nancy Tellum. Phil, it's really a thrill to be here. During my years at CBS and Warner Brothers, I was fortunate to work with some of the best creative talent in entertainment. Among our many achievements was the CSI franchise and Survivor, television shows that offered proof that innovation is about breaking the rules and betting on the power of invention. Today we stand at the threshold of another great era of groundbreaking television. Xbox is expanding the, ca the canvas and conceiving a whole new art form for the creator, for the viewer, for the community, and the industry. Until now, the television viewing experience has been a one-way street for the viewer, but now that's about to change. TV on Xbox will immerse you, enabling you to virtually jump into the action whenever you desire. For the first time ever, TV will be truly personalized to your tastes and your needs, providing recommendations with amazing precision. And only on Xbox will TV become social in ways unknown to us today, driven and shaped by the community of tens of millions on Xbox Live. Xbox is about to become the next water cooler. And this is only act one. At this very moment, our talented teams in Los Angeles, Seattle, Vancouver, and London are using the magic and science of Xbox to rethink dramas, comedies, competition shows, sports, live events, and digital shorts. And one of our first and most important projects starts close to home, Halo. One of the foundations on which Xbox was built has been played for billions of hours by tens of millions of fans. Please welcome my friend and head of 343 Industries, Bonnie Ross. Thank you, Nancy. For me, Halo has always been more than a game. It's an amazing experience that takes place in a rich and deeply connected sci-fi universe. A universe in which we can tell hundreds of stories. We tell these stories through our games, our novels, and most recently, our award-winning web series, Forward Unto Dawn. At 343, we put a lot of thought into how we want to evolve storytelling on Xbox One. As a huge fan of television shows like Breaking Bad, Band of Brothers, and my personal favorite, Game of Thrones, it's been inspiring to see television become a medium to bring the scope and scale of ever more ambitious worlds and adventures to life. I'm excited by the potential of merging the storytelling magic of television with the interactive innovation of Xbox One. So, today, along with Nancy, I'm thrilled to announce a live-action Halo television series, created in partnership with 343 Industries and one of the best storytellers of all time, Mr. Steven Spielberg. Thank you, Bonnie, thank you, Nancy. And congratulations to the entire team on the tremendous work going into the future of Xbox. I wish I could be there with you today in person, but like all of you here today, I've been playing games for decades, 
and I even started playing Pong in 1974. And over the years, that experience has exploded from the simple pixels of Pong to worlds that are as immersive as and certainly more physically interactive than those portrayed on the silver screen. And those stories have gotten more compelling as the technology has certainly improved. And so for me, the Halo universe is an amazing opportunity to be at that intersection where technology and myth-making meet to produce something really groundbreaking. And I'm incredibly excited about the great journey we're all on, the heroes, worlds, and wonders that Halo will take us on. Thank you. We are really excited to bring the world of Halo to Xbox as a premium television series. Thanks, Bonnie. Now, before I leave, there's one more piece of news that I'd like to share. For years now, the leading edge of interactive TV on Xbox has been live sports. We've invented new ways for fans around the world to engage, to enjoy the games and teams they love. So we're determined to deliver even more innovation to make Xbox your home for sports. It's my honor to introduce a game-changing partnership with the most popular league in the United States. This alliance will not only change the fans' viewing experience, but transform the sport itself. We've always innovated on the field by trying to make our game more exciting, to make the experience better for our fans, whether they're at home watching on television or in the stadium, where we're trying to bring more technology to improve the experience for our fans in that stadium. Microsoft, over the last 30 years, has brought great technology that empowers people around the globe. We're continuing that tradition with Xbox to bring new features, new functionality to people using all the assets of the company. So Don, how will this experience be better on the Xbox for NFL fans? With Xbox, we're going to have exclusive content that we will use uh, with Smart Glass, with Connect, with some of the innovations our creative teams are doing to bring fantasy football to life, to be able to interact with others, to do things using all the devices in your living room as you're participating with your friends. So it's, it's going to be a really rich palette for us to create. So it's going to be easier to play fantasy football with the device and a better experience. Imagine your NFL team integrated with your large screen TV. This is going to be the first time with our partnership that Xbox and the NFL can bring a live broadcast and a real-time fantasy experience where people can see their fantasy league stats snap to the broadcast. When your favorite player scores a touchdown, it updates your fantasy league status, and it will allow you to also reach out to your friends, make a Skype call, and openly taunt the success That's you're cool. enjoying that your friends aren't. Using the combined assets that we have to make the stadium experience, to make the in-home experience great, that's what our opportunity is. Well, when we look for partners, we look for the best. And from a technology standpoint, Xbox, Microsoft, there's no one better. Now fans are going to be able to experience football in a way they've never experienced it before. You're going to change the game of football in a way that is just going to be so dramatic and help us really make the game carry into the next century. This partnership will redefine NFL experiences for the fan through exclusive and interactive content that you'll find only on Xbox. And it will also change the game for coaches and players through Microsoft technology on the sideline. The NFL on Xbox, just one more reason, Xbox One is a must-have system for your living room. I want to thank you for joining us today. We have an ambitious vision for Xbox One to become the all-in-one system for every living room. The one system you're going to use and love every single day. The place where your games, TV, and entertainment come alive. Today, you've seen how we're transforming TV experiences. We've shared the magic and science behind our system. And you've tasted a new generation of games powered by Xbox One. We've welcomed Steven Spielberg to the Halo universe with the Halo TV series, 
and celebrated an historic partnership with the NFL. I'm pleased to announce that we'll be launching Xbox One around the world later this year. But this is just the beginning. We can't wait to share the next chapter of our story in a couple of weeks at E3. There, you'll be seeing an incredible lineup of blockbuster games, including many exclusives that you'll find only on Xbox One. As we set our sights to the future, I'd like to leave you today by presenting a world premiere from one of gaming's great franchises. They helped to find excellence on Xbox 360. They found their home with our Xbox Live community. And they are the number one series in games today and one of the biggest franchises in entertainment history. And just like on Xbox 360, all downloadable content for Call of Duty will launch exclusively first on Xbox One. Please welcome Activision Publishing CEO, Eric Hirschberg. Thank you, Don. It's great to be here. This is a huge day, not just for gaming, but for all of entertainment. Now, just to be clear, I am the last human speed bump standing between you and seeing the world premiere of the next generation of Call of Duty up on that screen in a couple of minutes. So knowing my audience as I do, I'm going to try to get to it as fast as possible. I think everyone was expecting us to play it safe this year and simply make Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. But we didn't want to do the safe thing. We wanted to do the right thing. And that meant eliminating as many creative restrictions as possible so that our developers could create an entirely new Call of Duty for the next generation. And that's exactly what we're going to deliver with Call of Duty Ghosts. An entirely new world, an entirely new narrative, an entirely new cast of characters, all built on our new next-gen Call of Duty engine. Call of Duty set the gold standard for first-person action in the current gen. And make no mistake, we're going to do it again with Call of Duty Ghosts for the next gen. We've had a camera crew inside our iconic studio, Infinity Ward, capturing the creative process as the vision for this game has unfolded. And we wanted you to be the first to go behind the scenes and take a look at what they've been up to. Here at Infinity Ward, we've had a great time crafting the benchmark of the modern day shooter on current gen. And we're really excited that we get to be the studio that brings Call of Duty into the next generation. We have a whole new story with brand new characters, completely new world, and this is powered by a new next gen engine that gives us amazing graphic fidelity and really innovative new ways to play the game. So what we wanted to do is create a cast of characters that you really felt more emotionally attached to. We had the opportunity to work with Steven Gagan. This is the guy that won an Oscar for writing Traffic. He wrote and directed Syriana. What they really wanted in this game, in Call of Duty Ghosts, is they wanted emotional reality. You know, they wanted these characters to feel real, to feel like real people. So the story opens up with a mass event. America is crippled, our military forces are devastated, our government's in disarray, and as the player, you are actually the underdog, fighting back against these superior forces. So the team you're a part of is formed from the remnants of all the US Special Forces. Ghosts are a super elite fighting force, to like the Spartans all the way through SEAL Team 6. They've adopted every technique that's useful for modern, urban, guerrilla-style fighting. One of the fascinating new additions to your squad is a dog. We've had dogs in Call of Duty before, but never like this. This is someone you care about. This is a squad member. He does everything from sniffing out explosives to protecting the team. So with this next Call of Duty being in a new world on a whole new storyline, one of the things that we wanted to do to support that was create a new engine. Our goal this game is to make brand new next-gen characters and weapons that's never been seen before in a Call of Duty game. We have a new tech in the game, Sub-D. The idea is, is the closer you get to it, the more it tries to maintain any curvature that you see 
This is very helpful in weapons, and helmets for characters, and makes a huge difference for visual fidelity of what the player sees from a distance as well as close up. With a new next gen console, this is an opportune time for us to reinvent the experience that we deliver. It's important to keep our core philosophies about gameplay drives tech. So when I think about the animation features that we've been working on for Call of Duty Ghosts, one of the, the first things that come to mind is immersion. We have a new mantle system so that when you're running quickly and you hit a wall, you get this nice boom, you hit it and you leap and you go and you just maintain your momentum. But we have the lean feature which allows you to lean out and lean in and get a better view of the battlefield. So another feature that we're working on with animation is the slide. It allows you to get somewhere quickly, get out of the line of fire, and at the same time do it in a really cool looking way. We've added fluid dynamics, interactive smoke, and also added an AI system to it. So we have fish move out of the way when you get close to them. The poly counts, the texture increases, the shaders, the lighting, tech, the level should feel like you're really there, and all the technology that's going into it allows you to achieve those goals. With this being an all-new Call of Duty, we've really taken this opportunity to revamp multiplayer. One of these new MP features that I'm most excited about is dynamic maps. We have everything from big earthquakes and floods down to player-driven actions, doors, explosive traps, things that change the flow of the map. All of this creates a new dynamic experience for the player. Another new feature is character customization. You can choose the heads, you can choose the bodies, you can choose the helmet and gear that you're wearing. You can connect with who you are as a player more so than we've ever done in the past. Dynamic maps and character customization are just two of the new innovations that we're bringing to next-gen multiplayer. We have the best fans in the world, and we're committed to creating for them a new next-generation Call of Duty experience. One of the key reasons Call of Duty has been as successful as it is, is we focus on gameplay. It's the thing we design for. It's the thing that drives our success as a franchise. And with all of the new tech, all of the new story elements, everything that we're putting into this next-generation Call of Duty, we are still 60 frames a second, low-latency controls, a great-feeling game. This will be the most beautiful Call of Duty game we've ever made. It will also be the most character-driven and emotionally engaging Call of Duty game we've ever made. And it will be the best Call of Duty game we've ever made. A stunning leap forward, not just for this franchise, but also for console gaming. To show you what I mean, we've put together a little comparison video that shows you what's possible on the next gen and puts side by side the differences between what we're going to be delivering in Call of Duty Ghosts and what was in uh, Infinity Ward's last game, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, which was state of the art just a very short time ago. And when you look at the differences side by side, it's actually pretty stunning. Let's take a look. This sequence shows one of Modern Warfare 3's main characters, Price. While this asset pushed the limits of what was capable at the time, the technology employed by the new engine allows us to take the visual fidelity of our models to a whole new level. This next generation head is modeled with multiple features represented, sub-D, high-resolution textures, subsurface skin shaders, multiple lights, and self-casting shadows. Here, you can see the dog model from Modern Warfare 3. Our new dog model is taken from high-resolution scans of an actual SEAL Team service dog. Every detail is replicated, right down to the scars on the nose and the tattoo inside the ear. When playing first-person action games, your character's arms are one of the most looked-at visual elements. The arms in MW3 were beautiful at the time, but the new engine allows for significantly increased texture resolution. This advancement in technology allows us to convey fine hairs, bruising, cuts, and even the dirt beneath the fingernails. Here's an example of a jungle environment from Modern Warfare 3. Now, here's a jungle environment from Ghosts. This scene employs many new tech features, including volumetric lighting, boosted poly count, and self-casting shadows. Okay, you've seen the vision for the game, and you've seen the technology behind it. You've seen just a few of the, the ideas that we're bringing to Call of Duty Ghosts inside campaign, new characters, new story, new narrative, and inside multiplayer, dynamic maps, character customization, and there are a lot more new ideas to come. 
from new co-op ideas to seamless second screen integration to voice commands via Connect and more. But now, it's time to see it all come together. The gameplay you're about to see is running in-engine on the new Xbox hardware. This is the new generation of Call of Duty on the new generation of Xbox. This is the world premiere of Call of Duty Ghosts. It's been 10 years. You start to forget the things you should remember. And you can't stop remembering the things you should forget. We've always had the power. Not anymore. All we have is each other. We're ghosts. Fighting for something that can't be killed. Soldiers stand against their enemies. But ghosts 